That's our big story at six. Hundreds of people gathered in Alloway today to celebrate the life of Wisconsin Supreme Court Justice and Green Bay native Patrick Crooks. On Monday, 77-year-old Crooks died in his chambers in Madison while continuing to serve his, the state he loved. NBC 26's Eric Crest joins us live at six with the story of how those who loved him will remember the man. The amount accomplished by Justice Crooks in his nearly 40 years as a Wisconsin judge is astonishing for just one man. But those who worked alongside him say it was Crooks' integrity and character that will never be forgot. Today's funeral for Justice Patrick Crooks was more than just a somber remembrance of a man from our community. It was a celebration of his life good deeds and service to our state. Every day I worked with him, he had a sparkle in his eye, he loved his family, he talked about his kids all the time, and he had that Irish sense of humor that came through in the toughest moments and, and really often. A graduate of both St. Norbert College and the University of Notre Dame. He was a lifelong learner. He always wanted to know about new things. And also a captain in the U.S. Army. Crooks didn't shy away from hard work or tough decisions. He was never afraid, popular or unpopular. He always did the right thing. And to all my colleagues and myself, that's what we try to do every day. And it's not always so easy. And his profession aside, his family says Crooks was a humble man, loyal to a fault, a believer that everyone is entitled to their own opinion, and a man who dedicated his life to serving others. It's a sad day, but you know, as his wife said, he died doing what he loved to do. And not many of us have that opportunity. What the community looks for is leadership and looks for people that they can admire and, and who people who are courageous and stand up for what's right. That was always Justice Crooks. And as the Honor Guard gives their final respects to Crooks and his family in a time-honored tradition, those in attendance know our community is better off having had him. Hopefully Crook's wife Kristen of 51 years, his six children and 21 grandchildren know what their husband, dad and grandpa meant to this state and our community. Eric Crest, NBC 26.